Hello, in this video I'm going over, I was going to make these videos with my son, but I'll have to do them by myself because they just take too long and he's not here and I'm getting so many, I'm so far behind. I went to my disability lawyer and told her that I want to cancel my disability request and she wrote this letter. February 6, 2015, Office of Disability Adjudication and Review, DeSoto Building, Suite 48880, Freedom Crossing Trail, Jacksonville, Florida, 32256. Claimant, Daniel Carone, Social Security Number, da, da, da. Claim Type, DIB slash SSI. Dear Honorable Judge Thompson, I, Daniel Carone, Social Security Number, wish to dismiss the request for hearing by administrative law judge that I had filed on June 27, 2012. I do not want to pursue these claims any longer. Please dismiss the request for hearing by administrative law judge that I had filed. I understand that these claims will be closed with the Social Security Administration. My attorney will also attach a letter about this matter. If you have any questions regarding this matter, please feel free to contact me. Your time and consideration in this matter is greatly appreciated. Respectfully submitted, Daniel Carone. And my phone number and current address, the one where I'm staying at right now. So here it says, Electronic Records Express Access to Electronic Folder. What happened was, two people wanted me to claim disability. And... I had already been Baker acted by this time I believe so I went with them because if I didn't they could just call the police and throw me and get me locked up again so I went with them uh, God provided a way out though because the judge I was given is blind and he works and he denies many cases and so my lawyer this time did listen to me and did do what I wanted which was not to claim the disability I'll hang on to this piece of paper for a little while longer okay things to do February 5th 2015 change of address form online it costs a hundred a uh, dollar and five cents now to change your address my good Samaritan friend paid for it apply for cash assistance from DCF myflorida.com food stamp office I think it's 300 a month another person told me it was 200 so I I did apply disassemble two computers two towers it can be done. My son and I did that the other day. Tuesday, February 3rd, 2015. One, pressure wash the side of the house. We did that. Clean inside windows of pickup truck. We did that. Clean dashboard of pickup with a dry cloth. We did that. We used armor all. At least I did all of those things, but my son did get to see me doing some of them. Then he went to sleep, I think. Thursday, February 5th, 2015, 7 a.m. go with Frank 25 to DeLand. 10 a.m. see public defender, Miss Betty Wyatt. Uh, wait for your ride at the library. Pick up your son. Disassemble the computer with Max. All right, all of those things were done. February 2015. These are my goals. Tiny house. A computer. Well, I have a computer. It doesn't have uh, the ability to see videos. But I still have the iPod and I could watch a movie with my particular person with the iPod now that it's working. Okay, flashcards. Matching app. That's what I got to do. I need to make an app for matching flashcards. Uh, and then the wife situation 
I gotta figure out what to do with that. Alright, so I went over this. All right, dear Danny, happy holidays from Maricela and Nicholas, apartment 305. This is from December 19, 2002. Uh, they gave me $25. It says, from when you put up the tree till it's over and done, may your holiday be a wonderful one. All right, so this was the Christmas card from 2002 it was very nice of them I wanted to read it with my son so that he knows that some people used to give me money even before he was born um, I'm trying to remember them now Maricela and Nicholas I probably know them by last names uh, apartment 305 which building was this 2002 uh-huh Boy, I gotta figure out which building it was. You see, I, I don't have that info anymore. I mean, I could really check my memory. And then, like a paycheck stub or something, and then I would know. But when you do something polite, you're acting in the Holy Spirit. And that is the command that God, uh, Jesus gave us to love one another. All right, Max, please bring the piano. Max, please bring the plunger and a bucket or three buckets, please, so I can do my laundry. I saw a video about how one man just uses a plunger inside a bucket to wash his clothes. Well, he was using it to wash his shop rags. Oh, here's something someone said. Daniel, you have a dream job. Water showers. You have water, you have showers in your own room. You're a butler and a chauffeur. So I like, I'm a dishwasher, butler, chauffeur. That's what um, one of my friends, physical friends, once that I see here, he said, I have a dream job. And I do. I like my job. God bless you. See you in the next video.